Welcome back, everybody, to Ranch Simulator Season 2, Episode 9, and we're going to pick up right where we left off. I've gone ahead and added the paint to the dairy, uh, painted out a few of the fences here, and uh, yeah, let me show you around. So I got a lot of great comments, as always, from everybody. Thank you very much, everybody, for all the comments. We've got color suggestions. I'm really, really excited uh, for this episode. We're going to build the barn in this episode. Uh, and start to get, uh, you know, everything together on this side of the ranch. Uh, the house will save for last, uh, but in this episode, we're going to get the barn done. So what I want to do is kind of show you guys how things went. So first off, I don't think I've ever shown you guys how the lights work in the game. So, I mean, how mine are, how the way I have it set up. So uh, I got to turn my lights on here as we get into the afternoon. It takes me this long now to get the ranch uh, fully worked in order to like even start to record unless i want to hit the record button and like not do anything and let it kind of just back up so uh yeah i'm just kind of like bringing you guys in here after getting everything done we've got uh you know how the rule is if it's closed it's curing if it's open it's not uh brito has been super busy got some poop here let me grab this real quick while i'm talking to you guys and bringing you up to speed on where we are uh, yeah, it looks like Brito's been uh, super busy. We've got a female here. I don't know what this little guy is yet. Uh, we've got another one over here and uh, here. So they're filling up, definitely. Brito's doing his job. And uh, guys, just, I, I, you know, I was joking in the last episode. Brito's not going to be, uh, <laughs> Brito will not be hurt in any way. When Brito's job is done, he will be retired somewhere in one of these pastures. We'll build him a, a special little place that he can rest his loins after being so busy and uh, helping the dairy uh, flourish the way it is by adding more and more cows. So, no, we're not going to thank Brito with a bullet. We're going to thank Brito with a nice place to stay. All right, I think I got all the poop, right? I get it all? Nope, there's one right here. Uh, yeah, this has been doing great for my grapes. My little for you know my little uh garden so uh yeah let's put this away and uh so yeah tell me what you guys think i actually did paint the floor got a, a nice comment from a from a viewer that said uh, rp you should paint the floor a gray and i actually was thinking that before i saw the comment because i was like you know what maybe a maybe a gray floor gives it that uh that dairy feel and i agree with him and i'm so glad i did it uh, we have a lot of color suggestions, and here's how I'm going to work it. It doesn't matter what color you suggest, we can use it, because there's a lot of things that, that you can paint in the game, like these cabinets can be painted, uh, the tables can all be painted. Uh, so there's a lot of things. So I got a, a request to have something painted purple, and I thought, you know what? You know what would look good purple? Not this dead deer, but these right here, the troughs. I think we're going to have purple troughs, so thank you so much for that suggestion. We are going with a burgundy for the meat packing room, and uh, yeah, the fences will be white. And the chicken coop, we are going to go with the suggestion, according to this viewer, chicken coop should be orange, that that's what they are in the real world. The favorite color of a chicken coop is orange, and that's the channel color, so the chicken coop will be orange, white dairy. Burgundy meat packing plant. And of course, you know, the barn is what the barn is. And, uh, you know, it'd be cool if they let you paint the silos, but they don't. So unfortunately, we don't get to do that. So let's get over there and uh, let's start. Let's start paint uh, painting. Sorry, I'm so I'm so caught up on the painting. And I went with uh, a black roof and, uh, you know, not solid black, kind of a uh, charcoal. He tried to make it look as real as possible. You know, the color of a roof. You guys let me know what you think. Let me know uh, how I did. I think I did good. Let's take one quick look back here in the uh, whole overall area of it. And you guys just give me your opinion. I think the decorations look good. Oh, by the way, I did. I put some plants in here to keep up that zen feeling that I want to have on this ranch. So I think it looks nice, guys. This is all product, by the way, ready to go to market. So we're doing quite well, but that's not what we're here to do. We're here to build the barn. So I've gone ahead and I have placed a bunch of wood in here. Now this isn't going to be a huge barn because we are going to be doing cattle processing. So this will be the, the birthing area. And uh, we're going to try to do this with some controlled 
uh, birthing. We're going to try to control our herd. I'm not going to just throw a bunch of livestock in here. We're going to start with maybe uh, a couple of females and a male and see how the male progresses. I want to tag them. I want to control them. I want to try to do it as real as possible. So let's get going and we'll start to build the uh, barn here. And like I said, just a simple barn here to give the branch that nice ranchy feel. It serves eh, probably very little purpose because, you know, they really don't need it. And I, I have lots of wood, so I don't think we're going to run out of wood here. I won't be interrupted with running around looking for wood, so we should have a pretty smooth build here. And, uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see what you guys think so far of uh, the choices. I've got the burgundy paint. Uh, if we have time, maybe we'll start, uh, we'll throw... I think we can get the chicken coop painted. So what I was going to say is if we have time, we can get something painted. And I think uh, I think the chicken coop can be painted. Seems small enough. So maybe we'll like close out with painting that uh, after we get this barn up and running and get, get, you know, get the rest of this tightened up. The fencing and everything. Get everything uh, connected to that building via these fences and this building. So, yeah, that's about it, man. It's kind of a building episode today. I hope you guys have had a great day today. It is cold as cold can be in New England right now. Let me tell you, it is freezing, freezing cold. All right, let's get this uh, built. I hope you guys are warm. Uh, I am totally not. <laughs> but that's beside the point. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping you guys are having a great day. As always, I always thank you for giving me some of your time and watching me make my silly little videos. Uh, I, can't, I can't thank you enough for that. And as always, we have our scroll of commenters, my little tribute to the people that hang out and watch these videos and take the time to say hello or to give me some advice and add their, uh, their suggestions. And uh, everything like that. So as you guys know, right when I get home from work, it takes me a little bit to get warmed up, get my get my brain into gear. And uh, yeah, look at that, man. We just whipped that out like nobody's business. We still have plenty of wood left. So let's go ahead and just continue on here and get this uh, fencing done. We have the wood. So let's go around over here and connect up this section. And then we're going to save the house for last. Like I said, uh, most of this is just going to, you know, make sure we keep our animals from being uh, free. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to add uh, the cap. Maybe we can, you know what, since the barn building went so quickly, and I like to do about 20 to 25 minutes of gameplay for you guys. You know, I think that's that's all you need to suffer through. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe we can go grab a couple of cows, too. Uh, beef cows. We'll grab uh, two females. What am I doing? There we go. Uh, two females and a male. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. Kind of kind of get it living. Oh, oh you know what? We, we have to build. Actually, there's more to build than what I'm thinking about right here. We've got to get the, uh, before we do the animals, this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to do the uh, feeders. I just thought of that. Hold on, let me put this down. Let me open this up because now we are truly fencing ourselves in here. And let's go ahead and grab. See, I got this single one and I don't like that because the fence is like take four and four. I think the gate is the odd number, right? Yeah, so now I got an odd number. How does that happen? Hmm. I think it's the gates. The gates are, what are they, seven? And that's what throws it off. All right, good. this is a gate right here. So this is how they'll travel uh, into the big pen here. So they'll go right through here. There's like, you know, you can lock that. They're stuck in here and then they can go right in here. And uh, yeah, that'll take care of that. Let me go ahead and make that gate look like this and this gate look like that. There we go. Now it makes sense. So yeah, now I'm getting a little further away from the wood at this point, but uh, you know, what can I tell you guys? It, you know, you just can't, you can't plan for everything, I guess. But look what I got here. Let me throw this in here. I hate these odd ones. I like to keep it like even. See, I got this odd one. Now. Okay, so we put that in there. That's that's why they become odd right there because of that. The gates. Yeah, we'll deal with it. Whatever. But yeah, the ranch is really, really starting to look good. I'm really starting to uh, 
and get excited to uh, get some of this uh, beef sausage made and get that up and running. I have found a kink, though, in the production line. We are going to have to invest in more chickens. I think we're going to have to double our chickens because that rooster is not... Uh, Either I'm taking the eggs too quickly, and I think I am because I need 12 in order to, uh, you know, make the uh, the cheese. And then somebody dropped a comment and said that, you know, you can milk them in the morning and then milk them again like at 6 o'clock at night. And that is absolutely true. So now I'm going through the eggs double, right? So that's 24 eggs. So I'm going to bring this. Uh, should I bring this around? No, I don't have to. Just trying to see where I am, guys. Sorry. And trying to let you know, you know, what the plan is at the same time. Trying to walk, talk, and chew bubblegum all at the same time. And sometimes, sometimes I can't do that. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, anyway, the chickens are definitely the weak link right here it, in order to keep a constant production of cheese up. I just used my last eggs and I'm going to be able to produce more milk than uh, my eggs. So we're going to have to get that taken care of. So we will have to buy some more uh, uh, chickens. But good news. Let's take open up the uh, escape here. We're uh, 20,657. I just had to make an oil run before I started this video up here for you guys. I do have the burgundy paint right there. All right. I need a little more. Now, did I make a connection here? I did not. All right, so we're going to have to fix this. This is a mistake. We're going to need a gate right here. So let's just go ahead and fix that while the rain's coming. The lovely, lovely ranch simulator rain. You know, and sometimes I feel like I'm shouting every time the rain starts up, like I'm talking over the rain. All right, here's the gate. Boom. That takes care of that. That was easy. Yeah, so like I was saying, let's go ahead and build the gate. Now we can get in here. Yeah, so this is looking good. This is looking good. Yeah, I think what we'll do, looking at, let me look at the time here. Yeah, we got plenty of time. We got we got more time left. I, you know, I'll, I'll edit a little bit of the gaps out of here. We'll get a nice flow going. So we got our barn built. You guys got to see how the dairy looks fully painted out. You know what the color schemes are going to be going forward. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're good. So after I get this last piece of wood in here, uh, we're gonna take the truck. Now I don't have. I, I guess we can. I guess we can buy. You know what? Let's buy the uh, animal hauler. We'll do that. That way we can grab all of the all of the animals. So that way, you know what? We'll buy the animal hauler. I'm rethinking this out right now. Okay, that's left off there. Let me make sure this is all set, folks. Then we'll head out. All right, this is all done. This is all done. Got a way in here. Got a way in here. All right, all right. Looks good. Looks good. Just checking all the ways that we can get in. All right, we got a flow. Got the barn up. Uh, we'll throw the doors up. That's not a problem. We don't need them right now, but uh, yeah, I think this looks good. Let me hop in. Uh, oh, actually, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. No, nope. I'm going to drive. Which store sells the? Um, which, uh, where do you get the, uh, I can't remember now, where you get the, uh, the animal trailer from. Drop my gas tank. Anyway, we gotta get that. I'll remember it, and I'll meet you guys over there. And hopefully this rain will stop, and we don't have to have this, uh, episode done completely in the rain. Alright, I'm at the hardware store. I can get the animal, uh, trailer right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. It's only $1,500, so we'll grab that. And well, you know what? I also need another thing of tags. Let me go ahead and grab that as well. All right, ear tags, animal trailer, checkout. All right, I hope they fix the way these vehicles land. Oh, thank God. You guys, you remember when this thing would land like halfway across the fence here and you'd have to try to get it off the fence? All right, at least that's improved. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let me uh, do my thing here. I got to get in a different view and uh, let me back up and grab this animal trailer and now we gotta head back up oh i gotta get my tags too i see them on the ground there let me get out and grab those tags real quick don't want to run them over put these in here 
That'll take care of that. Yeah, so let's grab this. Let's go grab some uh, beef cattle. That's good right there. Should hook up. All right, excellent. All right, so I'm going to head up there, and I'm going to uh, catch you guys when I get up there. All right, let's grab some cows. Let's get the, get the cows in here. All right, now we need beef cows. And they only come in one color and one shape. All right, so let's get one bull. And one, two, three ladies. All right. Let's get these guys loaded up and back to the ranch. Hello. Hey, 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 everybody, everybody, everybody. I'm lucky I uh, I figured out by watching other uh, YouTubers that all you have to do is just, like, put them right in just like that. Point. Put them in. I used to chase them all over the place and try to put them in from the rear. I thought you had to load them from the rear. I didn't realize you could just point and tell that bad Larry to hop in there. Come on. Come on, I'm taking you to a beautiful home that you will live and flourish for... Hey, 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 what are you doing? Come on, silly. Yeah, don't you want to come to my ranch? You got a beautiful ranch for you, and you're going to love it for as long as it takes uh, for you to start producing more people. People. More cows. And, uh, yeah, as long as it takes for you to produce those cows, you'll... You'll do fine. And then you won't be. But either way, the community will end up with some great beef sausage. And that's what matters, folks. And we'll make a lot of money. All right, so let's uh, glide this down here. And, uh, yeah, right here. This is where we're going to enter. And bring in our new... Uh, our new recipients. Let's get these guys in here real quick. Let me open up the gate. That was a. We needed to get this eventually, so you know, might as well have it now. And let's pull you out. Hello, where do you think you're going? Come on. Yeah, this is awesome. So I'm just gonna throw. Uh, we'll just throw them in here for right now. I don't break the leash. Do not mind the dead deer, my friend. It's, it was a complete accident. All right, I got a door open over there. You stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. All right, I'll go this way. We'll grab another one. Yeah, so this should be, uh, this should work out great. This will be good. I'm, I'm anxious to see how this turns out and how we can manage this. Oh, you're going to run right in there. Heck yeah. Do the work for me. Now, I could have probably just driven this vehicle straight in here, which was what the design was meant to do. Uh, I wish you could get... Oh, man. I le You see what happened? Look at this. <laughs> I left the other gate open. Check it out. All right. Now, you stay there. Let me go get your buddy. All right, hey, this cow's not stupid, let me tell you. Come here, you. Come here. Get over here. Get over here. Because this is where you're going to get fed. I'm going to put your pens in here somewhere. I think I'll put the pens, like, around this right here. That should reach, or, or actually, no, we're going to have to be... Gonna actually have to be closer in here with the feeding pens. Uh, that's the next thing we're gonna have to do after we get these cows in place here. I figure out which way I need to run to do that. You guys know how disc discombobulated I get. I don't have to apologize to you guys for that. All right, come on. Yeah, man. Yeah, so like I said, Brito is not going anywhere. Brito's gonna be uh Brito's gonna be around. He's gonna be in retirement, but he will be around. And maybe we'll name uh this other bull 
Uh, Brito, Brito number two. <laughs> Keep him going, right? But but you never know. The, the beef bulls, I can't guarantee because that's money. We're going to have to get rid of this guy. Let me skin him up. He's bothering me. All right. Get the last bull. See how we're doing on time here. Doing okay. Let's go. Get you. Hey, hey, this way. All right, so this this does it for the uh, for the bulls or for the beef, the beef cows. All right, come on in here. There you go. There you go. Let that go. All right, so we are going to have to build out this feeder. Probably get this water. That we I have a water. You know, I don't think. You think we're going to need that that well over there if we've got a well right here? Because we just need to get water in here, right? That well should be able to do it. All right, now, how do I get out of here? Did I put a gate here? Nope. I put it right here. Sorry, you got to stay. Let me close this. We're getting to the uh, end of the day here. It's getting uh, nighttime. Let me close off any escape routes for these guys. Like this. Here we go. All right. That takes care of that. Get everything closed up here. Uh, did I think I put lights in the slaughterhouse? So we have some... Did I put lights in here? You know what? I did not. We have to put lights in here, folks. We've got some, uh, some uh, dairy cows that became males... And uh, they're ready to be uh, processed right here. And then, of course, we do have the actual dairy cow. Uh, not dairy cows, beef cows. Sorry, folks. Dairy cows over there are beef cows over here. But uh, let's take a quick look. Got to remember how I set this up so I can get in and out of this place. And open up this. And let's take a quick look at how things are looking now. Now that we have the barn up, yeah, see that adds a nice, that adds a nice touch. We get that feeder up over there. I might just, I don't know, I might keep the water well thing in there. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out as we go. Like I said, we tweak as we go. Um, let's see. It's getting late now. The night's coming on. I think what we'll do is... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fast the, fast forward the game into the daytime if I can. I only have a, a short night cycle anyway, but let's just go ahead and get right into the daytime. There we go. And what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of this, uh, this paint on. Let's go over to this side real quick. All right, I want to grab one of these paint cans right here, and I want to just see what the burgundy is going to look like. And uh, that that way we'll uh, we'll close out like that. Uh, so, really, really want to know what you guys think so far of how the setup's looking. Uh, this is uh, oh yes, I like that. See, that matches right with the barn, and that's not a bad thing. You know, that looks good. I like that. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, that color's not bad. Now, the roof's going to be black, so let me just hit that. And I do have some black. I do have some black left over for the roof, I believe. But, yeah, this looks good. Guys, let me know what you think. I like it. It was suggested by you. A viewer said, definitely a nice burgundy for the meat packing plant and i believe that was a good choice i like it what do you guys think you guys let me know it's a beauty about paint you can always change it right i love the painting in the game i never did this before i am just obsessed with that uh paint mixer now over in the heart oh this is what happens if you have paint in your hand <laughs> and try to open up a gate uh you can't all right, so got a red gate right now, but it won't stay red. It will definitely stay white. Uh, you know, unless I change my mind. You know, I've been known to do that. 
Let me just grab this. All right, guys. I'm going to finish painting this off, and uh, I'm not going to touch anything. Hold on. Check this out. You cannot open gates with the paint in your hand. Right? You'd be going crazy. You'd be putting paint everywhere you don't want to put it. All right. There you go. There you go. Now, this would be cool. You see this? Hold on. You see how that trim stayed like that? I'd like to paint the trim a different color, though. Maybe... I don't know. You guys let me know. Should I should I make it all one color, or should I put a little accent there? I think that's happening because the door is there. I don't know. Maybe make it black? It's an idea. You guys let me know. The sun's coming out here. We can get a better look at the ranch now. Stay in there. Grab this. I don't want to lose my paint. But yeah, like I said, keep tossing colors in there. We've got things to, uh, got a lot of things we can paint. Uh, the overall ranch is going to have this theme. I'm going to paint the chicken coop orange. And uh, I love the way the dairy looks. Thank you so much for those uh, comments and suggestions on going ahead and painting the floor gray. I agree 100%. It actually looks awesome. So we've got our barn built down there and everything's looking good. Oh, I just want to catch you guys up. Another commenter said, paint this area and I really like this. Black and yellow for the bees and the honey. So I think I'm going to do that. You know, I might keep the fences still white, but just paint like this guy black, this guy yellow, this guy black, etc. Uh, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with the paint and having a lot of fun with you guys responding to it and helping me out with choosing how the ranch is going to look. So, that's it for this episode. Seems like it went pretty quickly. We got the barn built. We got a nice little tour of the uh, finished dairy and the dairy is finished. And everybody should be happy that Brito's going to live. Brito will live on as long as Brito lives. I will not harm Brito. Come here, Brito. Say goodbye to everybody. Here he comes. All right, everybody. You know what I always say. I say happy ranching. Ta-ta and bye-bye. <laughs>